The 2023 SKNFA Division I League got off to a flying start at the Kim Collins Stadium in Bird Rock with a double header, Connery Fireballs International crushing Molyneux six goals to nil, while Trafalgar South Stars demolished KFC Trinity Challenges United seven goals to nil. Goal scorer for South Stars, Sean Percival, scoring four goals in the second, third, 40th, and 55th minutes. Jelani Willett scoring a brace in the 45th and 86th minutes, and Clarissa Gums in the 70th minute. After the match, manager of South Stars, Atkins Phillip, said the results are signs of the new thrust of the team this season. Well, the performance tonight was okay because we have been training and they're doing a better. We have a younger and a more strategic team this year and we're going, we're on a mission. That's our motto, we're on a mission to go back straight up to the Premier well, this is the statement everybody going to hear South Stars 8 nil with the score, but we didn't matter the score. It's how we play the game. You know what I mean? That's how that's that's how we want to do, how we play the game, and we go forward, straight back up. Trinity Challengers coach Orin Hughes said his team struggled defensively, which led to the poor result. So goals to have occurred, um, we would have been practicing um, exactly um, some of the things that I would have expected from the opponent. So for example, where that one ball over the top catch the defense flat-footed, um, I think it was just a, an error on judgment based on knowing what to do, even though we would have trained um, just up to yesterday and day before as to one dropping off and denying the, the, the person the space, um, you find that person was still ball watching um, and not doing their jobs. In the other match, Connery Fireballs goal scorers Terence Wallace in the fourth minute, Kay Nisbeth in the fifth minute, Catherine Bricken in the twelfth minute, Camuel Shari in the thirtieth minute, Curtis Sargent in the thirty-sixth minute, and Ozzy Butte in the forty-second minute. The Division One League continues on Thursday at the Kim Collins Stadium.